Hey there, Gemini. So what we're going to do is, sorry, I didn't even put up my cards from last reading, but what we're going to do is a reading for you for your May love, okay? Reading for you, Gemini. Everybody has been getting their, also their finances coming out, Gemini, so I'm hoping that's going to happen in your reading too. So come into this reading spirit for Gemini, for love, for May. Gemini, you could leave at a distance from someone. Some, or you could meet someone at a distance from you. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit for Gemini from May for love. What do I need to see? I feel like you know that there's someone who is your twin flame or something like this here. Uh, we got the Three of Swords and the uh, Star here, Gemini. So I feel like Gemini energy with the Three of Swords. I feel like you're about to get a wish after getting your heart broken. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Gemini, for May, for love. What is Gemini? There you go, showing up, Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. Definitely feel like you're cutting people out who have broken your heart. But I definitely feel like there is uh, something different coming in with the uh, death here. Something's changing for you, Gemini. Bottom of the deck is the death. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini. I feel like this person could feel left out in the cold by you. I feel like this person could also be very, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Infatuated with you. Show me what I need to see for Gemini for love for May. What does Gemini need to see for love for May? What does Gemini, okay. Bottom of the deck is a nine of cups. So you could be going towards some calmer waters here uh, with yourself or by yourself here, Gemini. I feel like um, you're not accepting someone's offer here, okay? I also feel like there could be someone that you watch online. We have the Knight of Cups coming out in the reverse, Gemini. So you could definitely be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the Three of Wands. We got the Four of Wands. Wow. We have the Ace of Cups, Gemini, the King of Pentacles, and the Judgment. Gemini, I don't know if someone just feels like they're not good enough for you, but you're waiting on them, or they're waiting for the right time to come in to give you some type of a committed uh, relationship here. They're serious. We got the Ace of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Judgment. Like, they've decided that you make them really happy. And they want to leave stuff from the past in the past, okay? They want to leave stuff in the past, and they want to move on towards you. But I feel like they have self-esteem issues. And I also feel like maybe they're just not emotionally mature. But when it comes to love and money, like this person has a big heart for you. And they want to start something new here with you. And I feel like this person um, wants to... Um, or, or is, is financially stable here, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Gemini, for love, for May. You can be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Pisces, an Aries, Leo, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Gemini, for May, for love. What does Gemini need to know? May, for love, or any messages for Gemini? May for love. Three, four, nine could be significant for you or could mean something for you, Gemini. We got step out of your comfort zone. So maybe you're used to certain things, Gemini, and Spirit is urging you to step out of your comfort zone at this time. Show me what I need to see for Gemini. Like, stop going back to the past. Show me what I need to see for Gemini for May for love. What does Gemini need to know? That's a lot. That's too many. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Gemini. One card, please, for Gemini, for May, for love. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is a fiery climax approaches. That could be this person here, Gemini, that wants to come in towards you. We got nothing is yet set in stone, so you can change your mind at any given time. Uh, Aries energy. So you could be definitely dealing with an, uh, a fire sign. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius out here. Sagittarius, very strong. But again, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because that is the first Knight of Cups in the reverse is what's out here. Okay. Um, let's see. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Gemini, for love, for May. 
What does Gemini need to know for love for me? Gemini. Gemini, I need to see you now, but I want to see you. We ask that you protect us while we receive these messages. And we thank you today, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Gemini for love for me. Bottom of the deck is the snake. Yeah, I definitely feel like you were dealing with some type of a snake in the past there, Gemini. Or you could feel that this uh, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is one. Show me what I need to see for a Gemini for love. Gemini for love for me. We got the sword and the rose. I feel like somebody is going to give you some type of... We got abundance coming out for you, Gemini. That king of pentacles, man, keeps coming out for people. And I really feel like a lot of people are on top of their money right now. And I feel like abundance is coming in towards you, Gemini. We got separation, the golden mirror, seduction, the sword and the rose, and girl talk. I feel like you've been talking to someone, giving people some truth about how you feel about someone. Maybe someone uh, is a very much a tempting thing for you or something like this. You could be in separation. It could be from this person who's waiting to come in to give you this commitment here, Gemini, okay? I feel like this person wants to give to you. They really do. But um, I definitely feel like uh, sex could be a big part of this. I feel like you do talk to your friends about this person. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Gemini, for love, or any messages for May, for Gemini. Messages for Gemini, for May, for love, or any messages for Gemini, for May. May, for Gemini. May, for Gemini. Any messages? Wow, that's a lot. Wow, that's too many. On the on the uh, top, though, is personal riches. I'm telling you, Gemini, your money's going to be nice. Show me what I need to see for Gemini for me for love. One more for Gemini. One more for Gemini for me for love. That's too many. I'll take the ones that's down there. So we got property. So you could definitely be looking to move or something like this here, Gemini. We also got sunshine and we got burnout. So you're working a lot. Okay, Gemini. That's why your money looks so good. We got a property, a property purchase for sale or money for many, but heat security concerns in any transaction. And then we got the sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. So Gemini, just watch the burnout. Look, behind that, we got luck. So things are about to change for you, to, uh, Gemini, if you've been having trouble in your money and in your love life. It looks like it's going to be something hot and steamy, maybe for the summertime. Could go on beyond that, okay? Because somebody wants to offer you a commitment with this for a wand here, okay? They're just waiting for the right time to bring it on in. I feel like they want to bring in a ring here with this King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. I feel like they're waiting to purchase a ring or something like this here, Gemini. All right. So, I hope that that gave you the insight that you needed for your love. For Oh, let's do the angel answer. Show me one more for Gemini, for love, for Gemini, for May. Show me what I need to see for Gemini, for May, for love. Gemini, for May, for love. We got romance. Gemini, yeah. Someone's coming in, Gemini, to show you some romance. That was a night of cups, I'm trying to tell you. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Talk to you soon.